بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم احنا المره اللي فاتت اتكلمنا عن ايه اتكلمنا عن الفورسز آه النهارده احنا قلنا المره اللي فاتت ان عندنا there are several types of force في pulling force وفي حاجه اسمها pushing force آه pulling force زي الاكزامبل اللي قدامنا ان انا بعمل pulling ل uh, something in front of me just i want to pull the door to get to pass uh, pushing force زي اللي انا شايفه قدامي uh, some a person is pushing as a car as you can see in the picture here okay this person is pushing the car as you can see here and uh, another example a person is raising the books in fact he is pulling the books upward okay احنا قلنا في عندنا تو تايب اوف فورسز قلنا في بوشينج فورس في بولينج فورس وفي حاجه اسمها تويستينج فورس اتفقنا ان بوشينج زي ما انا شايف ذا فورس از اكزرتد اون ذا بادي تو موف ات اواي فروم فروم مي اند بولينج فورس ذا فورس از اكزرتد سو ذات ذا بادي از بولد توردز مي تورد اي ام جرابينج ذا اوبجكت ات سيلف اوكي تويستينج فورس زي ما احنا شايفين عندنا كيوب كيوب از تويستد سو ات كان بي تيرنال خدنا اكزامبل المره اللي فاتت وكنا بنشرح بنقول ايه بنقول انا عندي كيوب بالشكل ده كيوب ده از ريستنج اون ذا فلور اوكي اف اي اف ذس كيوب از فورس از بينج اكزرت اون ذات كيوب سو ذات ذات كيوب از تيرنال ذات واي So it is being twisted in this direction, right? Right. So yeah. it's called twisted. Yes. Twisted force, right? Okay. And if I have a a ball, the ball is being kicked by a, by a person. Person is kicking the ball. So this person is doing what? It applying a force on the ball, so it is being pushed away, right, in this direction. Okay, and if I have another example, if I have something that being grabbed towards me, okay, like some books or pencil, it's called pulling. You you pull the door towards you to get open and pass away, right? Right. Okay. Okay. So this was our lesson yesterday. Uh, the last last time we talked about the forces, okay, and uh, we also talked about something called gravitational force, right? We we knew that gravitational force is applied uh, on everything on the earth, right? And it is being applied towards what? Hmm? Towards the ground. Of the earth. No. Towards the uh, towards the center. Very good. Very good, you know. Yes, yes, exactly. The gravitational force acts all over the world toward one one point, which is the center of the of the world. Okay. So, as you can see here, the force of a gravity on an object is called object object weights. What's mean by object weights? And what's meant by what is the difference between weight and mass? Can anyone tell me what's the difference between uh, weight and mass? Yes, go ahead, no, please. Uh, the difference between weight and mass yep. is that mass um, uh, the amount of quantity of substance. No, 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 I don't want the scientific expression. Tell me what you understand. I want a very simple uh, example. The, uh, the, the difference like between the mass and the force of substance okay. is the amount of matter in an object. Okay. And the weight is equal to the mass. Let's let's let's, let's summarize again. If I have if I have a, a book, its mass is what? One kilogram. Okay. So this is called the mass. Uh, what's what's meant by the weight? Weight, in fact, weight is a force. Weight is what? Weight is what? Weight is a force. So the gravity 
the gravity is a force okay so when the gravity is applied on any body it has a weight okay okay so for example the gravity on earth is equal to what who can say hmm. gravity on earth equal to what i didn't see it the gravity of earth is equal to 10 okay the gravity of earth is equal to 10 okay is everything clear now okay so the force as you can see as you can read here in the paper the force of a gravity on an object is called what object's weight so when the when the body or the object has a weight that's because a gravity is applied on that body again if the if the body or an object has a weight that's due to the gravity for example if i say here if you can see here the this the force acts toward the center of the earth it always pulls down whenever you are on the earth you got the point judy yeah. judy mariam noor are you are you following me monica yes monica please can you lower down your hand please monica okay so we took another another example of force we we took we call it's called electrostatic force what's meant by electrostatic force Hmm. Um, so when you have friction between something, so like something is charged. Yes, exactly. But not anything, any something. If you say something like plastic, like the comp, hair comp, and your hair, hair is your hair is made of silk. Okay. So when I pull and rub my the, the comp very very fast in my hand in my hair, it is charged. This charge attracts what small piece of paper. So this electrostatic force is called what a pulling force right yes mr very good what's meant yeah. by magnetic force a magnetic force is a force a pulling force between what between a magnet and what an iron okay the magnetic force between magnet and magnetic material magnetic material such as iron if anyone has a magnet in his in his you know in, in your room in your home and if you get it close to anything metal it will what is going to pull it or push it it's gonna pull it towards very good very good so you understand you understood now that the magnet is a pulling magnetic force is a pulling force electrostatic force is a pulling force a gravitational force is also what hmm? gravitational force is what pulling a pulling very good very good very good very good and the gravitational force pulls the object towards what <clears throat> center of the earth very good okay so now let's now go to something new in our new lesson okay what you can see here in the in this picture what you can see what is this person do he's pushing, he's pushing the, the he's pushing the yeah 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 he's, he's pushing machine. away he's pushing away the object Okay, he's pushing the body away from him. But can you see what is what is happen between the body and the and the earth itself, Friction. the surface? Friction. Friction to the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's meant by friction? Friction is another type of force. But what? It's what? like when you rub friction. Okay. When you rub something against the earth. Very good, very good. Wait, wait. Wait for me. No, no, no. Wait, wait for me. It's hot. Yeah, yeah. That's a kind of friction, but I want to know the the true meaning of friction. Friction is a force, force that really makes it hard for anyone to push the body as long as it is touching the surface. Okay, let's have an example. If you have a box and you put it on a smooth layer of, uh, of ceramic and you try to push it, is it going to run or is it going to be hard? The, fr the friction will be less, so it will be Wait, wait, wait. If I'm going to put a heavy box on a ceramic, on a smooth layer, okay, and I'm trying to push it, I'm trying to push it, huh? what will happen between the 
box and the ceramic layer. Friction. Friction, exactly. Okay, if I took this box and put it on a piece of uh, on a carpet, a silk carpet, okay, and I try to push it. It's gonna be hard. Be harder. Friction. Uh, yeah, yeah, it will be harder. Exactly, exactly. Who said harder? Who said harder? Okay. Yeah, yeah, it will be harder. The the hard that you can see and you can feel the hard force, the hard friction is called the friction. Okay. You got you got you got the point. Yes. So a friction is yeah, another type of force, right? When we when any object slides across the surface, the, the force of friction tries to stop what tries to stop the moving box. Let's have an example. If you can see now, if I have here the surface, okay, and I have a box. Okay, this box is being pushed by a person here, by a force applied. I apply force here. What will I have here in, in, in between the surface and the box itself? Friction. Friction. In which direction, Yama? In which direction? Friction. Is it in the same direction the force or in opposite direction? It's, it's the friction acts on the opposite direction of the movement. Exactly. That's why we say that the friction make it hard for the body to push that box, right? So you can, as you can see now, it is hard for the box, the box to move on this surface. And the friction is not equal in all surface, right? The friction can differ from between a smooth surface like ceramic and a, a rough surface like a carpet, right? So we, so we took now a new type of force, which is called the friction force. We understand that the friction force is acting against the force which is being applied on the box, right? And the friction force is different between what? Between type of surface, such as ceramic, carpet, or anything else, right? Okay. Are you coping with me, Lara? Yeah. Are you coping with me, Mariam? Yeah. Are you coping with me, Lara? Are you coping with me, Mariam? I'm talking to you. Yeah. Yes, yes, you are, Lara. Should we, should we write down Can you your voice, please? Should we write down? No, 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 talk, talk to me, talk to me. Um, I need some interaction in the lesson, Gamaa. Miriam, talk to me. <coughs> we need to write down or not? Yes, yeah, you are right, you are right. And the pencil and the rubber. She said that. Okay. Gamaa, don't write in, in the private message, please. Don't write. Stop writing. Concentrate in the lesson, please. Don't write. Okay? Don't write, please. Try to concentrate. Don't waste your time or, or concentration typing. Just concentrate in the lesson. Okay? Let's go back. So we took now the friction. Anyone had any any problem with the friction now? No. Okay. Let's take another type of force, which is called irresistant. What's meant by irresistance, Sagama? If you, if you, as you can see here... Mm -hmm. This is the force that acts on any objects mm -hmm. that are moving through the air. Mm, you are getting close. But if you if you see this picture, uh, a someone a person is falling down Sir? by air resistance, right? By a parachute. Yeah, sir, it's between air resistance and gravity. Okay, 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 Adam. Air resistance is a force that acts on any object moving through the air. Any object moving through the air, this is an air resistance. Let's, let's take an example. Let's take an example. If you can see now a car. What's the difference between old cars and new cars? Can anyone tell me what's the difference between old car and new car? They use air resistance. Yes. No, 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 no. They, they use they engineering. Have, they sometimes use uh, electricity. They sometimes use no, no, no. solar. I am talking about solar. They have like a... They have a car. They have better... The back wheels dream. push the front wheels so they can move. Okay, let's let's see now. I have a car now. Okay. Okay, I have a car now. Okay. Okay. Uh, I I think my drawing is not uh, very neat, but I'm trying my best. Okay, I have a car now. Okay. 
and this car is moving on the road in this direction right so the air resistance will be where can anyone tell me very good in the opposite direction yeah yeah the air resistance will be in this in this way right right air resistance so right yes okay okay if I have a something like this if I have a falling a falling a falling body this body is very wide like this okay it's a plate of steel it's, and it is falling down why it is falling down this this steel can anyone tell me why it's, it's falling down? Gravity. Because of gravity. Very good. So I have a force of gravity that acting on this steel plate downward, right? Why falling this steel plate downward? Can anyone tell me which what kind of resistance is going to fail? Exactly. Air exactly. 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 Air resistance. Exactly. Air resistance. So while falling this steel plate down. Due to gravity and its weight, it will it will face what air resistance. So you now understand that air resistance can act in either in any direction, as long as the body is moving in the air, right? Okay, okay. Anyone has any problem? Anyone has any question? Can anyone tell me an, an, an example for air resistance, please? Yalla, uh, Adam, tell me an example for air resistance. Hmm. Parachute. Uh, uh, parachute, very good. A parachute, yes. As you can see here. Let's, let's take it. Let's take it. Let's, let's discuss this picture. Okay. Let's take this picture and discuss it. Mm -hmm. Okay. As you can see now, this this person is 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 facing what? Can anyone explain to me this picture? Hmm. Yes, me. Yes. Very He's falling down and the. Yalla, 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 He's falling down and the air and the air is colliding with the. With the parachute, that's why it's falling Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, the, the person is falling down due to its weight and is falling down due to the gravity weight. So the gravity acts on this body downward, right? Right? Yes. And while falling downward, there is an air resistance. Can you see he, why he is using this parachute, huge parachute, to increase the amount of air that is resisting him to fall down. So, so he's, he's not going to die. Right? If he, if this parachute is being cut, this person will fall down fast, and he, and he may get hurt while falling on the ground. Right? Yes. Okay. Let's go to another type of force: water resistance. Can anyone tell me what's meant by water resistance? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Then it's like air resistance, but water. Exactly, the same like air resistance, but inside the water. Okay. Yeah. So, what what we what we say about resistance? What 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 we say about resistance? It is very hard to say resistance, resistance, resistance. Let's take another. Resists. No. There is a good there is a good way to understand about the resistance force. Okay, in water and air. Let's say, air resistance. Okay, air resistance. And water resistance is called what? Hmm. Can anyone tell me? Hmm. It's very important to, under, to know and memorize this point. Air resistance? Yeah, air resistance and water resistance is called what? Huh? It's called up a... Thrust. A called... Up thrust. No, not up thrust. Up thrust is in one direction, it's up only. It's called up thrust, so it is in the up direction. Okay? But I want one word that being said for air resistance and water resistance. One word, just one word, think about. 
Resistance normal? No. Oops. Not buoyancy. No, 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 no. Buoyancy is. What, what are you saying? <laughs> buoyancy is. You are far behind this point. Still. We are not saying buoyancy at all. Hmm. What else? Can anyone tell me? Not streamed line. Not streamed line. Okay. Let's 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 memorize this point. Air resistance and water resistance is acting on the body in any direction as long as this body is moving inside the air, air or water. So it is called صح بلال. Bravo عليك. It's called drag force. صح بلال. Excellent. Drag force. So the, the drag force, the drag force, is a force that act on the body while moving in any direction in the air in any direction. In the water, okay. That's why you can see the aeroplane. It takes it takes that pointing shape in the aeroplane, right? So that he is going to decrease the drag force. Am I right or wrong? Can you can you understand me? Yes. Yes. Anyone anyone is getting this? Any problem? Again, please. It's a streamline to avoid air resistance. Streamline is another phenomena. I am not talking about air streamline now. I am talking about the kind of force, a general kind of force. Okay. Excuse me. Who can understand? Who can understand? Maryam? Can you raise your voice? I can't understand. I can't understand. Which, which point you can understand? Again, please raise your voice, please. I can't hear you. Water resistance. The, think about water like air. Okay, if you have a boat, if you have, uh, let's say, uh, I have here a swimming pool. Okay. And this swimming pool has something like a box inside it. Okay. I'm a, and I'm going to, to try to move this box in this way. But it's inside the water. Okay? What force will this box face? Water resistance. Water resistance. In, in the opposite direction of the force. Exactly. Same like air. Excuse me? Again, please? Yeah, inside the water, yes. And the gravity will pull it up because... Um, no, we are not talking about gravity now. We are not talking about this point now. Don't, don't hurry up, okay? Step by step. I have a box, a metal box inside the water. This metal box is moving inside the water in the same in the direction of force, okay? And it will face what? It will face a direct force in the opposite direction, as we said, right? Okay. 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 I told you, I told you, as you can see here, these red lines is called air resistance and called also drag force acting on the no. body. The drag is a drag force. Yes, the drag force. The drag force is called is a is the same name is same name for air resistance and water resistance. It's called drag force. The drag force is a force which drags the body in the opposite direction of the acting force on that body. If, if I have a force acting in, in this direction, the blue direction, okay? I, I, I thought it was another type of uh, force. No, you, 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 wasn't, you wasn't concentrating. I told you before that the drag force, air resistance, and water resistance is called drag force. And this, uh, this is an important question, okay? Okay. okay. I have a question. No, can you can you wait please till I finish this point? Okay. Can you wait till I finish this point, please? Okay. Okay.
So the moving object collides with what with a particle in the air or the water, and this slow it down, as we said. Okay. ماشي علي. علي محمد علي. شايفك. فهم؟ Okay. So. No. You want another? You want to have a question in existence? Wait till the end, please. Okay. Write, write your question down and not forget and wait till we, we finish. So we are going to talk now about up thrust force. I think someone of you, he was uh, a little bit clever nice. and he told me about up thrust force. So where can up thrust force act? In the sea. In water. In water, right? Yes. In general, in water. And uh, can upsurge force work uh, act in the air? No. Why? Exactly. Any type of fluid, not liquid. Any type of fluid. Okay. As you can see, as a balloon here in in this picture, the the balloon. I think some of you may have uh, used the balloon. Uh, it is full of what? Of hot air. Okay, and when it is filled with hot air, how does this balloon act? Hey Ali, how does this balloon act? Um, Ali Muhammad Ali, when the balloon is filled with hot air, how does this balloon act? Okay, this balloon will, will goes up. Hey Ali, Ali Muhammad Ali. Okay. And this balloon is full of fire. Push, uh, push in for the fire. fire uh, push it Again, please. Yeah, the fire pushes now. The fire pushes now. The fire? No, 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 no. You, 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 no, no, no. I, I, will, I will explain it to you. I will explain it to you now. If I have a balloon here, as you can see here, the balloon is, is like this, okay? Okay, and it is being tied to a box, right? This box has a weight, yeah. right? Yes. I have here fire. What does fire do? What does this fire do? Uh, it makes it explode. Hmm? It makes the air explode. No, 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 it makes the, the air inside the balloon hot. Hot air. So what happened? So what happened? Hmm? Up thrust force. Up thrust force. What? In the up. To the up. Okay. No. The force of the. Yes, exactly. You are clever. The, so the hot, the hot air will take the balloon up. While moving the balloon up, it will face what? Huh? It will face the air resistance. In, inside in the opposite direction right yes right exactly exactly very good and what else will push the balloon down gravity. the weight gravity. the weight due to what due to gravity the and the no the, not the weight and the gravity the weight is due to gravity 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 creates yes. weight Gravity mass. and mass creates weight. You got the point? Gravity plus mass creates weight. No, I want you to understand. I will send you the papers and I will give, send you the recorded lesson. Don't worry writing. Just concentrate with me and understand. I need you all people to understand. Just understand the, the idea. Don't think about writing. Okay? Physics is not, is not hard. Only I need you to understand and think slowly. Again. The hot air inside the balloon makes the balloon goes what? Up. Due to up thrust force. Up thrust force. Why going the balloon up? What will what will it face? It's going to face what? The air resistance. Okay. Yeah. And the weight of the balloon is due to what? The weight of the box inside the balloon. The weight of the person inside the balloon is due to what? 
Exactly, you got the point. Not the mess. Mess of the body yes. is is still constant. If there is a gravity on the earth, there is a weight. Yeah. So you understand exactly. now the difference between force, yeah. mass, yeah. weight, yeah. and gravity. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You understand now? Please answer me. All of you answer me. You understand now yeah. the difference between yes. weight, yeah. mass, weight, yeah. and gravity. Noor Reda, you have a question, Noor Reda? Ten. Wait two minutes, exactly two minutes, and I will give you the question, okay? I didn't understand this the abstract. Again, again. The abstract force. As you can see here, a balloon, right? The balloon is going up. Right? Yes. It's going up due to what? The hot air. Not the hot air. The hot air makes the balloon lighter. So it creates up thrust force. Yes, up thrust force. Okay. When the balloon goes up yes. and it leaves the surface of the earth, it will face what? First thing. Air resistance. Air resistance. Very good. And the balloon is carrying a heavy ball metal. It will. It will have what? So is it air resistance? No, no, no. No. The air resistance is acting against this balloon while moving up. No. The, air resistance. No, no, the up thrust force makes the balloon goes up from its name. It's called yes. up thrust. I mean, it's not. Exactly. You got the point. The metal ball. It's very good. The metal, metal balls will create gravity. The metal has a the, has, metal. the metal has a weight. Due to the gravity, it goes down. Okay. okay. Everything clear? Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Can anyone give me abstract force? Uh, not in the air, in a water? Hmm. A box floating in. Uh, a what? A what? Please? A balloon. A balloon. Uh, what? A balloon. A balloon? Okay, if I. Uh, again. Okay, good example, balloon. Huh. If I have a balloon here. Okay, and it is. Being put on in the water. Okay. Okay. The balloon, mm -hmm. let's say it has no weight. It will remain floating, yes, right? Float. So it will float due to what? Hmm. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Up thrust force. So the balloon. I I know it's not a it's not a balloon. I know. It's something rigid. I don't know, <laughs> but yani, let's 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 yani, pretend it's a balloon. Okay. 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 I don't understand. Mean. Me. I'm Judy. Judy, you don't understand which point. Um. The the, the, the balloon. Why does it say goes up in the? The hot water. Water. No, no, I don't have. A, I have a cold water, just a, just a bowl, big bowl full of water, and I get a, a balloon. This balloon is is big, and I put it in the water. Is this balloon will sink down, or it's going to float on the surface of the water? When it has the water. Yes, as you can see in this picture, a water here, water surface, and this is a balloon on its surface. Hmm. It will float. It will float why? Because it has water. No, due to up thrust force. The force create the water create up thrust force on the balloon. It prevents this balloon from sinking. Okay. You you got the point now? Yeah. Oh very good, very good. Okay. So we finished now the up thrust force and the uh, air resistance force, right? Anyone has, has any questions? We have no. only three minutes till we I go to our next session. Air resistance. I have a question. I have a question. Okay, go ahead. I'm hearing. Um, 
They create drag force. They are called drag force. They create drag force. Yes. Again, please. They are not combined. They are not combined. They are not combined. If a something moves in in the air, like water, like sorry, like a car, a moving car, a fast car, it will face drag force. If a boat moving in the ocean, it will it will face drag force. If an aeroplane, if an aeroplane is flying in the sky by height, yeah. Yes. Yes. This. That's why they make the fast objects has edgy points, smart objects. I didn't finish my point, please. Okay, Ajud. I said you didn't understand. The ball, uh, if it's the water, water, is just water, water resistance. resistance. How does the air resistance, resistance uh, uh, come? No, it didn't come. The ball inside in the water, it will face only water resistance. Okay. Mm. With the ball yeah. inside the air, will find will face only what? Water, water resistance. That that's point. That's the, that's the point. Yes. Force, he said that it is the air resistance and water resistance. If I have a boat moving in the water, it will face what? The water resistance. Which is called what? Drag force. Okay? Just the resistance only is the drag force? What? Again? The water resistance only is the drag force? Yes. Yes. Yes, the water resistance is a drag force, and it, and air resistance is called a drag force also. Drag, okay. The drag force is something that, that prevents it from moving, prevents it from moving, whether it is in air or in water. I think it's, it's clear now. It's not it's not complicated, Gamma. Yes, I have a question. okay. Before it ends, before the session ends. Hmm. Okay. Uh, you, um, you, you said, said you said that the air resistance uh, is up and gravity is down. No, I didn't say like this. The gravity always a gravity force acts towards the center of the air, and air resistance is yeah, acting it, in the opposite it, direction of the force up. of the body. Yeah, 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 like, like, yeah, yeah like, like when you go down a parachute, the air resistance is up. Yeah. Okay, so let's continue. Again, please. Again, please, I didn't hear you. Yes. Everything. Yeah. Uh, everyone is, is is coping with me now. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let's continue. We are going. To, we are. What are you? What can you see in this in this picture? What can you see in this picture? Very good. So this, 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 I'm not sure lesson. Okay, very good. Okay, so. ممكن ممكن نذكر بس آخر آخر lesson ما نضيعش وقت عشان ما نضيعش ما يخلص مننا ممكن please concentrate. يبقى إحنا عندنا two people are pulling a rope against each other. So what kind of force is being generated in this rope? Tension force. 
tension, pulling not pulling forward. The people are, are the people are exerting. Okay, very good. Sunny after mute all again. People are what? People are exerting a pulling force on the rope, right? But in fact, yes. there is a force generated inside the rope, which is called what? A tension force. <laughs> so I have a tension force generated inside the rope. An example, these two people are very strong, very, very strong. And they are going to pull the rope against each other very strong. So the rope may... The rope will cut. Okay, what if the rope didn't cut? And they are uh, they are applying a very 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 hard force again on this rope. Hmm. One of them no, no, this this means that the rope has a high tension force. Okay, this is a force called tension force inside the rope. The rope has a tension force inside of it. When when this force is generated, it is generated when these two people apply a pulling force in this direction. Okay, so inside this rope, a tension force is generated. Okay, uh, I didn't. I don't. I don't want to confuse you more than that. I don't want to confuse you more than that. But you must. Uh, can you this? Okay, okay, okay. You can write to me. Don't, don't interrupt me while talking, please. Yes, please. Okay, write to me. Write to me, and I will. I see your message, but don't interrupt me, because I'm concentrating, please. Okay. Again, so these two people are exerting a pulling force on the rope, right? So right. the pulling force on, on the rope creates what? A type of force, which, which is called what? Hmm? Tension, tension force. force. Tension, tension force. Tension force. Exactly. Exactly. So tension force is a kind of force which is generated inside what? Inside a rope. Inside a wire. Inside something that holds two things together. Okay? Yeah. Is it is it clear? Yes. As you can see here in this in this picture. Let's take it and zoom it in for you to understand better. Okay. As you can see as you can see in this picture, what can you see? Hmm. What can you see? A, 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 a box. A box. Yep. A metal. A metal block. Yep. 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 Metal block. Metal block. Okay. Okay. Can anyone tell me how this tension force is generated due to what? Huh? No pressure, no pressure here. No, no, no. Due to the weight. Exactly. Who said the weight? Who said the weight? Due to the weight. Very good. Due to the weight of the box. Of the box. So the weight of the box it will will act where? In which direction? Hmm. The weight. Down. Very good. The weight will act down. Mm -hmm. Excuse me? Yep. I have a wire here. Think, I have a wire here. So? I have a wire here. This wire? Rope. Not rope, it's a wire. The, both of them are the same, by the way. Okay. I have a, a rope or a wire here. That, that is holding the, the metal box, okay? The metal box is have a weight. The weight to acts downward due to the gravity, yeah. right? This weight, let's say about 10 Newton, okay? So, a tension force will be generated in what, as you can see, in what, which direction? Huh? Uh, up, tension force down. down. The tension down. force? Down, downward, downward, downward. 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 downward, tension force is up. Tension force is up, yes, yes, yes. Like tension force is up. The tension force is up. I have a wire, a, a wire, a rope, whatever, holding a metal box. This metal box has a weight, 10 Newton, right? The, the it's, like, it's like what? 
So this tension force is acting in the opposite direction of the weight, right? So, yes. so this, yes. this will make what? This will make the, the, the rope or the, or the wire act against the opposite direction of the weight, upward. Okay, I think it's clear now, so? Can I give an example of tension force? Uh, this is an example, as you can see. Let us repeat what you will say. Can I give an example? Okay, let's have another example. Isn't the scale also a tension force? No, that's the scale is, we are, let's say another, another one. As you can see here, these two people are doing what? They're following the ball. Pulling the rope forward Okay. So what what force will what force kind of force uh, is generated inside the rope? Okay. Let's let's talk about the right hand side. Okay. I I want to say the right hand side also. Okay. Wait, I, 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 will, I will tell you. Wait, I will tell you. Hmm. I think now it is easy, right? As you can see, what can you see yes. now? Hmm. What can you see now? He's pulling the rope. He's pulling the rope. He's pulling the rope. Right? Exactly, he's pulling the rope. Very good. He's pulling the rope. So he's pulling the rope towards what? He's pulling the rope towards himself. He's pulling the rope towards himself. Okay, he's pulling the rope again towards himself. Okay. This, yeah. this pulling force is, is where? In this direction. Right? Let's change the, the color, please. Sorry for this color. He's pulling the, fo the, the rope in what? Left hand side, to the left. So the tension force will be generated in which direction? Hmm? The right, side. right side, very good, very good. Tension force will be in the opposite direction. Yeah. So tension force is generated due to what? Due, due to, to the pulling force of, of uh, Okay, let's imagine that this, let's imagine this person, let's imagine that this person is not pulling, he's pushing. Is, is any, any, any kind of force will be generated in this rope? Yes. If he, no, 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 again, again. If this person is not pulling, he is going to push. No, no. No tension force, right? No, yeah. If this, if this metal box, if this metal box, if this metal box is being raised, is being raised like this. It's gonna be pushing. Yes. If this metal box is being raised like this, by a by a by a person upward, any tension force no. will be generated in this rope. No, no tension, tension force. force. No. You understood no. just that point. That you, now you understood the point. Tension. Very good. Uh, uh, tension tension force. Force. So Very good. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Very good. I think all of you now are getting familiar with the kind of force. Arwa, yes. Nuhi, uh, answer me. Force. Bilal, force. Minna, Judy, huh? Miriam, uh, Lara. Can uh, who can who uh, you understand? Like who do you understand? Who do you understand? Who do you understand? Okay, what did you understand? Me. I understand. Okay, last question. Last, last, last answer. You understood or not? No. Okay, Anur, say an example, Anur. Excuse me? I said an example. Okay. Okay. Uh, Judy uh, Omar. The box? 
Yeah. You are moving. You are moving, Judy. Okay. If I if I have here a metal box, okay, and I raise this metal box, I put here a plate inside uh, in behind uh, under the metal box, and I raise this plate up. Is any tension force will be exerted in this rope? No. صح خلاص. You got you got the point now. Okay. So let's let's summarize what we have said. Let's summarize what we have said. Okay. Yeah, Mister, I didn't understand. Okay. What didn't understand? Which point? Tension force, like the pulling force or something? No, tension force, tension force is not like pulling force. Tension force happened due to pulling. When I have something here, like this, a box like this, okay? And this box is on the floor, on the ground. And we know there is what between the, any moving object and the ground, there is what? Hmm. Friction, very good. The friction will act where? Uh, on, on the, the surface. surface of the How? Line. In which direction? In which direction? In which direction? Between Oppos the place. Yes, in opposite direction. Opposite direction. Very good. Friction here. Yes. So, so if this rope yes. and someone is pulling this rope, what will happen inside this rope? Pulling. No, what will happen inside this rope? What for, what kind of force will be? Tension force. Tension force. Tension force. Tension force. Exactly. You got the, you got now the idea. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I have a question. Okay. Fun. What if both sides are pushing? Does it does it still make a tension force? Uh, clarify your example, please. In your example, I missed something. So, like, so mm. like, if you have a box, mm. and both, like, two people are pushing against each other. Against, against each other, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, like this, so like, right? Someone will, uh, someone will yeah. pull it to the right, and some others will pull it to the left, right? No, pushing, pushing. pushing. Like this? Yes, yeah, like that, but on each side. side. On each side, does this mean push here? No, no, no like, uh, the, the same, same as the other one. Again, no, again, please. So, so they were pushing. pushing. So, so one, one, one from this side pushing, and one from this side pushing. Okay, like this? Like this. Right? Uh, again, okay, okay. Uh, uh, opposite is also yeah. like this? Like this? Yes. yes. Okay. What's your, what's your, what's your question? Would it still, would it still make a tension force? How, how? There is no tension force here. If you if you make this example, there is no tension force here. Okay. Mm -hmm. If I, if I if I did this. Okay, I, I I understood your point. Okay, but this point we we will talk about later. But let's let's say it now. Okay. Okay. You have a box here. Right, and this box is on the surface, right? And one person uh, is exerting force like this, and the other exerts force like this, right? Right? Uh, yes. yes. There is no tension force. There is no tension mm -hmm. force because number one, you are applying a pushing force. You are not applying a pulling force. The number two, mm -hmm. the force on each side, if it is equal, the box will not move. And we yeah. will talk about this later, uh, later on. It's called the okay. force equilibrium, okay? But not don't don't talk about this now because people need to understand, okay? Okay. Okay, guys. Is my kid What's your name? Kenzie. Kenzie. Okay, Kenzie. Okay, people. Anyone has a question now? Anyone has a question? No. Anyone has a question? No. Everything is clear. Yeah. Wow. Okay, yeah. let's summarize what we have talked yeah. about so far. I'm happy that anyone don't no one has a question. I'm very happy. Okay. Can you have an example about what? 
Okay. Okay. Are you going to Abu Muhammad today? Excuse me? Are you going to Abu Muhammad today? Don't think about the homework. Last time I'm going to tell you. <laughs> okay? Think about understanding the lesson. I need you to understand. Only understand. Okay? The homework will come. Uh, the homework will come. Okay? Don't worry. Okay. okay. So we talked about gravitational force. We talked about uh, air resistance force. We talked about water resistance force. Right? Rust. We, we talked about yeah. what? Hmm. Up thrust force, yes, exactly. And we know the up thrust force. Very good. We know, we understand, and we knew that up thrust force uh, act in in the air and in the in the water. Okay. And we understand that that, that up thrust force uh, will act on the on a balloon, whether this balloon is in the air or in a water, right? Okay, we understand something called tension force and we knew that tension force is a force which is generated in a rope or a wire if if this wire is being what? Hmm? Attention. Pulled. Very good, pull. Very good. Awesome, awesome. This, if this force, if this rope is being pulled. Very good. Okay, Judy, please concentrate. Don't write. Judy Hassan. Okay. Yes, you could just close the chat. No, 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 I, I need to see it. Okay. I told you that uh, gravity on Earth is equal to what? Can anyone under remember? Hmm. Gravity on Earth. I told you in the lesson today the gravity of Earth is equal to which value? What, what value? The gravity of on Earth. Oh, is ten, ten, ten. Ten. Exactly. Very good. And I told you the weight of, the, of an object on the Earth is created due to what? Gravity. 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 Okay. Gravity. Gravity. Okay. 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 Anyone has a question now, people? No. My weight increase or decrease? Again, please. If I went to moon, will my weight increase or decrease? Decrease, because the moon is larger in mass than the Earth. No, 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 no. <laughs> don't, 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 don't answer him. I am here to answer, decrease. not you to answer. Okay, number it one. It will increase no, no, no. as there's no. less gravity on the moon. Increase because, uh, because no. the gravity is less. The more the gravity... Don't speak and don't answer each other. Okay? When someone answers a question, I will answer it. No one, no one answered it. Okay, number one. Number two, this point we will come to it later on, not now. Okay, don't hurry up. Okay, let's talk about something new, it's called measuring force. As you can know, the force is a kind of, uh, you, let's say, uh, it's kind of uh, phenomena on the, in the ears, right? And we must measure it. We, we, we use what to, to, to measure the force? We measure a force meter. A force meter, exactly. We measure the force meter to measure the force. So, what is the, what is the measuring unit of the force? Hmm? What is the measuring unit of the force? The measuring unit of the force is Newton. Why it's called Newton? Why it's called Newton? We almost finished. Miriam. Um, because, because the person who discovered it, uh, the person who discovered it is called the uh, ice cream. Very good, very good. Clever yes. people, clever person. <laughs> okay, as you can see here, what you can see here? Tell me what you can see here. He's pulling the block. I think there's a kind of the Newton force. It's not a block, it's called a force, force meter. meter. It's called what? Force meter. It's called what? Force meter. A force meter. Force meter. And the force meter measures what? No, a force meter used to measure the force. A force meter. <laughs> it's used to measure the force. Okay, easy, right? Clear, right? Okay, what is the unit of the force? Hmm. What is it? Unit, unit. Measuring unit of the force. Unit of force. Newton. 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 
very good. It's called Newton, and it's, it's we can say new n. Okay, so the abstract force, the tension force, the gravitational force, any kind of the weight, the weight is a force, right? What's the what's the weight of the what's the unit of the weight? What? The unit of weight. The unit of weight. Um. No. Newton. 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 And what's the unit, and what's the unit of mass? Kilogram. Unit of mass is what? Uh, kilogram. 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 Very good. Very good. Kilogram. Excellent. Excellent. Unit of force. Newton. Newton. Very good. Is Newton. Okay. Uh, unit of weight. Newton. 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 Very good. Unit of weight is Newton. يا علي سكت لي يا علي اوكي as you can see here what is this body is, is, as is, what is this person doing uh, he's, uh, he's doing, doing the force of the brick what he is pulling the Thing with the pulling, the pulling the brick canny with the for for force meeting. How? He's trying to find the the the, for, the force of the brick. How how many force does it have? No. No. He's trying. He's trying to find the weight of the block. No, no. He's making an experiment. Okay. He's making what? An experiment. What is kind of what is the what is the main point of this experiment that he's doing? Hmm. He is uh, measuring uh, the weight of that brick. Yes, yes. exactly. He's he's he, he puts away the, uh, the brick on a on a table, and he hooked it up with a force meter. Okay, and he's applying a pulling force. Right. And he's applying the pulling yes. force, as you can see here, in the in the direction of the of the arrow, right? The arrow direction. Right. To the left hand side, right? Right. As you can see here, the force, the force direction, right? Yes. Yes. So he's applying the force in which direction? He's hmm. He's applying the force. In, in which direction? In the right direction. Yes. In which direction? To the right. Right? right to the right. To the right. Yes. yes, to the right. And what will happen to the force meter? It will measure the, the force the, that's the, being the, applied. The, 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 the red thing is going down. Exactly. It will uh, it will measure the force that's being applied, right? Right? Yes. Right, people? Answer me. Yes. Okay. Uh, the weight of that work. Which weight? Of the brick. Very good. Just, just dig this down, okay, to understand the point clearly. Okay, this force is being applied by the by the by this person to the right, right? And this weight is, is being what? Is measuring, right? The force that's being applied. Increase measuring the force. So how this? Yeah, how this? According to the hmm. weight of the brick. Okay, this inside the force meter. This there is what? There is, there is what a spring. Yes. Okay. Yes. This spring is connected to what? By this hook. To the red thing. Yeah, and when a force is being applied. In, in the as a pulling force in the right hand side to the right hand side the spring will what its size will will move will change yes right so let's say it was a starting point after he's applying the pulling force the spring will be like this right and the right. ring will move this distance right right are you, are you, are you getting it with me people Maryam, Maryam, mm -hmm. Maryam, Muhammad. Yes. Okay. So, by applying the force in this direction, 
the spring is being what is being moved so it will it will take a reading as you can see here which will be four three two or one each each number of this will give me an indication about how much force I applied to move this what this brick for example for example if the scale reads four Newton so what does it mean if you don't understand it has it has more no 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 if you know, when this person applied a, a force to the right the scale reads four Newton what does it mean That it waits for Newton? Exactly. Uh, yeah. It waits the mass that bricks wait for four. Newton. The mass of the Newton is four. Not not the mass, the weight. Not the mass. The weight, yeah, the weight. I mean I meant the weight. The, the mass is kilo by kilogram. But we are talking about it's... weight. So let's say another example. If he applies this force and this brick is being let's say we have another brick here and this brick like this. Mr. How long will the lesson be? If you want to move, if you if you want to get, if you want to uh, go away, you can go, no problem. Okay, if I have a brick like this, okay, yeah. and I apply the same force to the right, okay, and the scale reads ten newton. What does it mean? This means that that you exerted more the weight. The weight is ten newton. Exactly, the weight, the weight of the two newton. bricks is ten newton. I said that. Exactly. This, uh, Mr. Exactly. How, uh, it should be it should be eight because the first brick was uh, four newton. No, 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 no. I, I, I know, I know. But I am saying that if I have two bricks, only two bricks, and I don't say I don't, don't remember the first example, just the two bricks, oh. uh, and I have ten newton. What does it mean? That the two bricks weigh ten newton. I want you to understand like this, and I want only I don't only, I want you also oh. to understand that inside the scale there is a spring. Okay, this spring moves when I pull the wire to the right hand side okay when it moves and expands it will give me what a reading on the scale like this and this scale is called what a force meter which is used to measure the force right yes okay any example any question yes yeah. anyone has any question is it question? like uh, is it like there is also another thing I think it's called a spring scale. Uh, spring scale? No, we can't say it a spring scale because there are di di many different types of spring scale. Okay, but this is called a force meter. Okay. Mister, Until now, we can say a force meter. Just make it easy for you. Mister. Any question, okay. Agama? Mister. Hmm. Yes. Hmm? In the picture, no. he's, he pulls this uh, the force meter. Why yeah. he's pulling it? He's pulling it, no, he's not pushing, he's pulling it away to the right. He pulls like... Mister, can you please send me the... It's, it's, it's real. It's, uh... Who is talking, Gemma? Who is talking? Who is talking? Who is talking? Judy. Okay, Judy. I'm asking a what? question. Yes. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. The mister, he's, he's pulling, he's pulling the string. Yeah, yeah. He's pulling the, the he's pulling the ring, and the ring is connected to the spring, as I show you here, inside the force. When he, meter. When he, when he pulls the ring, it it reads uh, it newtons or not? Again, please. When he pulls the spring. It reads the newtons or not? Yes, yes. When he pulls the ring, the ring is connected to this to this port. It doesn't according to to he pull it or not. I don't understand you. Yani, it's a uh, when he pulls this ring, it reads. Well, I doubt he pulls the ring. It read He must he must pull the ring to move the spring. To read. Yes, because what? in this in this part in this if you complete the drawing here. You will find that this spring is connected, it has a hook, and the hook is connected to, the, to a what to the brick itself, as per the picture, right? Okay. Right. Connect, connect what I am, what I am discussing with the picture. Connect it, please. 
you will understand. I have a question. Yes. Mean I am. Mean basically. Speak. My name is Joya. Hmm. Joya. Tafdali. Please, uh, anyone will ask me a question. Please uh, open the camera to continue. Isn't he supposed to like hang it? Again, please. He put it on a table. So the supposed to hang it in the air like hold the ring. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Really. Brick on it. Look. I can't hear you. There is too much noise Isn't in the in the recording. Isn't he supposed to hold the ring? He's asking if uh, he's yeah. if he I'm has sorry. to uh, like hang the ring, not pull. He has, yes, he has to like hang it. He has to put it up in the air, not pull it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but let, let's, yeah, you, you are correct. You have a point, and your point is valid. I don't know but how to explain it, but yeah, you have a point. Uh, yes, yes, your point is so, valid. But uh, what uh, I am discussing this, now, just a I picture, just to understand the idea, Gamma. Mister, um, is it okay if you send me a video of the old lessons you had? Cause I'm kind of new. This is our first lesson. This, uh, our past lesson was was is not, you know, uh, concentrating because there are too much noise. This lesson we grabbed what and revised what we have taken in the previous lesson, and uh, we took the new things. Okay, Mister. Thank you. Mister, I have a question. Hmm. Why is the uh, I thought that the scales meter is gonna be like till 100 newtons, but here it's still like 20 or something. No problem. Right? There are many different types of scales. Okay. Too little. Yes, there are too many different types of scales. Yes, are we done? 10, 100 newtons. Yes. Any question else? Are we done? Oh, no. No, no, we didn't thank finish. You. When we finish, I will say we finished. We didn't finish it. Okay. Anyone Mister, what is the next lesson? I will send you the next lesson. Okay. Anyone oh, has any I, question now? I'm not sure. I will fill what's up. Anyone has any question? Muyah. No. Muyah, I, I, I didn't hear you, Muyah, today. Yes, you, Muyah. I can't hear you. Did you, did you get the point today? Did you get the lesson today? Judy, Ali, yes. Kenzie, Mariam, Laura, yes, yes. Noor, Rukaya, uh, Mina, yes, 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 Abdullah. Anyone has a question? Did you understand today? Arwa, yes, yes. Yad. yes. yes. all of you guys. Yes. Thank you. I understand really well. I understand really well. Okay, very good. So, uh, you, you find it useful? Yeah, it yes. Really yes. Yes. Okay, nice. okay. It was really useful and nice. Okay. Okay. I, will, I, will send you the, I will send you the PDF. Really well. Uh, thank you. Thank you, guys. Uh, I will send you a PDF. Uh, I will send I you the... Listen, 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 Mr. listen, Mr. listen. Mister, I listen, have a question. Listen, 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 listen. I will send you the PDF. I will send you the recording uh, through a link. All of you shall download the recording because it will have a valid time okay please download it fast i will send you the pdf which has which we have been discussing today okay uh, maybe i will send you a homework maybe i don't know yet but uh, the homework will be if i send the homework it will be not hard it will be very easy uh, remember always that you shall understand very well you shall uh, feel the knowledge and don't memorize. Not one knows, guys. I don't want anyone to know anything. I want you to understand. The most important thing Okay. Learn how to think. Learn how to think. Okay. Any question? Mister, Mister, I have a question. Okay. One by Did one. Did you take the lesson? What? Mister. Did you take the lesson motion and speed? No, no, no. We didn't take. We don't. We are. We don't have motion and speed here in our lesson. We are doing. We are doing. Mister, I want to ask. A... Why? I want to ask a question. I, I send you. I think the course material, guys. Before we start, 
this will be the course, this is our course material. I think you, I think we I send it to you several times. Okay? These are the, these are going to be our course materials. Please. Okay. I just want to say my name is Joy Amina, but I logged in from my father's account because I wasn't able to find him on Zoom at, on my phone. No problem. No problem. So I want to ask a question. Uh, will we have a session at Wednesday? Uh, maybe I don't know yet because I have a, I have another uh, session. I don't know yet, but uh, okay. most probably we will make it uh, this. Uh, you know this kind of lessons will be made maybe most probably once per week. Okay, thanks. Welcome. Mr. هو المنهج مختلف من حق المدارس. Yep, I am talking. I am talking about Cambridge curriculum. And uh, I have sent you these uh, topics and the kind of, uh, of book we are talking about, I think uh, I, I will send it to you. Okay. Any, else, any other question? Thank you, guys. Sleep well, eat well, think well. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.